Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts slash kind of just an update of the D2 Median XL update. So we actually just cleared Act or not Act 1, uh, Normal Difficulty. I didn't actually move on to the next difficulty and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what the play style is like. So real fast, I'm going to go ahead and just go through my skills and what I put points into. So I've got Embalming that basically gives me max life and my minions life. I've got Blood Skeleton Max because they give uh, a nice crushing blow aura and in general like they're kind of like your bread and butter. Although I don't really like them very much, um, but it's just nice to have and I'm probably going to respec later when I find out exactly what I want. Nighthawks so far have been my favorite actually. Since I just now got 1010 of the base level, I summoned three hawks at a time and since we got our Sunstone uh, of the Twin Seas and we started getting a bit of cast speed, the hawks actually feel real good. Like that was nine hawks already. Um, so that's probably been my favorite thing. And then we also have currently Death Pact right here that I actually haven't done anything in. This is all just like plus the skill level. But Bane, Bane I put one point into right now. I haven't actually ever used it yet, but Bane does reduce enemy physical resist and your hawks do pretty sure... Oh, maybe they're not physical damage. I'm pretty sure most of the... I'm pretty sure all the minions actually do physical damage with the exception of, like, the Iron Golem based off the weapon you give it and Abyss Knights because it says they do elemental. But mainly because I wanted to get Death Ward because I noticed that my character feels good but it's pretty squishy and Death Ward's going to help us scale our bonus defense for the future. So I just basically put one point in everything here to activate Death Ward and this is probably where the remaining points are going to go. Um... So next up, I've got the Abyss Knights, which, let me get these little soldiers out. We have the Abyss Knights, which are basically your early AoE guys as well. Um, and then I've got the Iron Golem, which I noticed that there is a, um, there is a tiered unique that gives a 50% life aura that I may attach the Golem to. Um, that's going to be something pretty interesting for later, but not really right now when I'm progressing. And then I've got Resurgence Max, which basically gives... Uh, minion damage, chance to avoid damage for the minions, and it actually synergizes with Death Ward, which gives it bonus defense, which is super, super solid. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. I also want to state that my stats are pretty much like strength for gear, breast of it. We'll probably respect later on for decks, but not important right now. So, you can see the birds. Pretty much what they do is they... Uh, birds of a feather flock together, fly to a target, and go boom boom and explode. They do a little bit of AoE, but their main focus is single target. So I think that they're going to synergize real well with the curse uh, once we actually like have a need to use the curse. I've also noticed that since they changed the Necromancer's Teleport, it feels kind of like a bit weird. Um, but one tip I can give you guys for the Teleport would be simply to summon your skeleton where you want to teleport, and then blink to it. So it's, it's kind of cool, but it sucks because you, you can't really like go through a wall because it like doesn't work. But I'm sure later on that can be changed, you know, with like weapon swapping and stuff. See, the thing that I noticed as well about the minions is this might just be a Diablo 2 thing. But I feel like a lot of the time they just kind of lag behind and they're not really like doing anything. That's why I really like these hawks because they you, I basically summon them at the target or right next to it and they just home in and kind of go boom. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with the skeletons and the knights and stuff yet. I'll talk a little bit more about the gear I'm using once we get to uh, Bale over here, since we're going to have to wait for the waves anyway. Okay. 
Alright, should be good now. Like you can see here how, how strong they're gonna be. He summons the pack, the birds go boom, the mobs are dead. Like except these ones that like ran away. What is this shit shooting everywhere? Is it just like a trap? That's such a cool trap, dude. I want I want something like that. <laughs> it's still going. What is this thing? It doesn't do like any damage, but like it lasts forever. Oh, it went away. Never mind. Or is it over there now? Do Nilla, not ball runs. Yeah, but Nilla doesn't really show anyone anything. I wanted to do the ball run to show them so they can compare it to their own characters. So I'm currently using a Fate Weaver, which gives good Necromancer skill levels. Uh, it also gives a nice balance of minion resistance um, and minion damage. I'm also using Shadow Child Shield, which basically gives the summoned Necromancer minion damage and gives us absorptions, which just make us a bit more tanky. It's nothing really too necessary. There's actually quite a few Necromancer pieces uh, for you guys to pick from from the beginning. And this is basically the damage of the birds versus ball and normal. It's pretty crazy, to be honest. I think, at least. I know it's only normal, but it's like pretty much no investment. You just put points into the skill, and it's incredibly strong. Uh, also, a quick tip for you guys. If you're new and you're watching, I'm going to help you out now, since Razor brought it up. So, I'm going to give you guys the bread and butter how to craft your, your basic beginner gear, since I know a lot of people get stuck. So, you make it to Act 5. If you can't make it to Act 5, this may not be the video for you. You're going to go save Anya, who is over here. She's in, I think, Frozen River. She's going to open up a portal. You go inside the portal. You go to uh, Halls of Pain. Halls of Pain Level 2 should have a portal for you. So, next we're going to go look for that bottom floor there. Ideally, the faster you can, the faster you do this, the better. Oh, got a club, nice. Wait, where is the club? There it is. So then you're gonna go to the star. Once you make it here, you just need to find the guy in the middle, who is that dude right there. He teleports around, so try to try to keep track of where he is. Speaking of which, where did he go? Oh, here he is. And now he's... Monka? Here? There he is. He will drop three minimum every time. He may drop another if you get lucky on your table. So... What this means is, if you get three every time from him, we're gonna go ahead and pull up, not RuneScape, because I'm not playing that right now. I'm gonna, is it this one? Here we go. So, also when you kill Ball, if you noticed a portal, God damn it, a portal opened up. That portal that we did is the required 59 or below challenge for Throne of Destruction to uh, kill Tran and Thula and get all of that stuff, which basically makes this sunstone of the twin seas that we have right now. Every every single character or class will get this. So on top of that, uh, I'm gonna go over here to tiered uniques, which you can find all of this. Uh, I linked all of these useful things in the previous video. So what you can do on here is you can basically search anything that it is that you'd like, and you can make your tiered unique starting from tier one all the way up to tier four, and then you can get higher, but not through crafting, through finding it. So you basically can kill this guy three times, that's nine, uh, nine items you get. If you break down nine items, you get nine shards. Five shards makes one arcane crystal. Two arcane crystals plus the recipe makes a tiered unique. And then the tier of the unique will depend on the base level. If you have a tier three base and you make it, it's a tier three unique. And then you can upgrade that all the way up to tier four. So you can basically get like full legendary gear slash you'll mix it in with rune words 
um, until you get to like, you know, your later on difficulties and you're trying to progress, but that should pretty much get you set for quite a while. Anyway, though, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys are enjoying the D2 Median XL Ladder Reset. Summoner's been pretty fun. I may try someone else later, but for now, I'm pretty happy with the Boom Boom Birds, and we'll see where we can take them. I would just like to get more speed on my minions. That's kind of something I'm trying to aim towards. Anyway, though, hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody. You know, I just realized that I never hit start recording on that video. Which means I have to... Fuck! How did I miss the start record button? That means I gotta clip it from my stream. No, I somehow didn't hit the start record button. I don't even know how that happened. I didn't click the... It's... <laughs> Would somebody like to go do me a favor and, and clip it for me?